And I think sometimes we kind of tell ourselves this lie that, you know, there's a dichotomy from left to right, and if you get people on the left, you get people on the right, you bring them together, you're, you're having this confluence of ideas, that something new is being created, a discourse that doesn't normally happen. And I think for a lot of political discourse today, what you really have is, you have this idea of establishment, and then you have this idea of the anti-establishment. I come at this uh, from neither the left or, or the right. I come at this from an Amnesty International adopted prisoner of conscience in Egypt, and they injected me against my permission after they dragged me through a torture dungeon. This is an Atam Tom Clancy novel, and it's disinformation for me to say this on social media. Yeah. L ladies first. You know, pundits, politicians, all of our academic and cultural institutions, online, town square, the New York Post, Twitter, and Facebook, massive falsehood. Our institutions have thoroughly beclowned themselves. Was the CIA kicked off of Twitter? What you just heard was a joke. Uh, Crack it. We need to call it what it is. There's absolutely an agenda behind it for the purpose of silencing us. It's adherence to what the state wants, I, that the state is encroaching more and more into people's lives. I would say it's the power of, uh, of the state, the power of the establishment. Poke holes in the popular narrative, not promote it. You can't poke holes in the popular narrative. Government, media, entertainment, the universities. Transgender in every aspect of I just, I really like everything Margaret says. What if we're all created equal, but we're not? And it's why I'm, 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 I'm almost pleading with everybody. We have to wake up, guys. Look, look at, look at everything you have trusted, every single institution. Look at it, look at the state. Take a look at your education institutions. And look at what's going on there on the school boards. It's not just comedy, it's schools. It's not just schools, it's the health system. That has been corrupted. It's not just the health system. Who would have thought every single institution that we were meant to be able to trust has been corrupted? Guys, we have to open our eyes to see exactly what's going on. Um, I, I, I go back to what I said fundamentally at the beginning. I, like, at, at the end of the day, like... Calm down, guys, calm down, calm down. <laughs> I wish that people would fundamentally change the way that they engage with each other and the way they engage with the media and be more honest about their engagement as well, you know? I don't think it's an accident that we are in the environment that we exist in today. Because I think it's because people want it, whether they like to admit it or not. Because these guys would get one preprint off of Medvir online and they would throw it up like it was gold standard medical research. Why? Because it agreed with the narrative that they had. Because that's all they cared about at the end of the day is fundamentally, I want to find something that is anti-establishment. Seriously, let's not bullshit each other. Hamas are terrorists, Hezbollah are terrorists, Al-Qaeda are terrorists, as of a fucking Nazis. Let's just be real about it, yeah? The question has never been, is there any Nazi in Ukraine whatsoever? That's not the question. The question is, is do Nazis make up a sizable portion of the Ukrainian military? The idea that you, from a, from a Western country, from the United States, I don't know where you live right now, but would go to a country that has been invaded by Russia for eight years and tell them, hey, I think you need to do personality profiles on some of your soldiers to see if they're a little bit too anti-Semitic to fight the war. The question is, is the U.S. now actively funding Nazis? But I, I, yeah. The problem is, like, We're when we sending say, so okay, much guys, money, like, you can see the, the difference in fact here, right? Like, does the United States support Nazis. What does that mean? Has the United States sent money to any country that might have a Nazi in its military? We probably have Nazis in our military. Yeah, we're the most money that we probably sent to Nazis war. are probably in the own U.S. military. Yeah. We're at um, first of all, doesn't he remind you of like Paul Rudd and Ben Shapiro at the same time? It's like if they had a baby. And the, and the New York Times isn't telling you I hope this. I kill myself before I and even so get halfway down that road. <laughs>